Namaste yogis, welcome to Yoga and You. My name is Pallavi Jankar. I am a yoga teacher as well as a counseling psychologist. My work is basically using yoga to understand not just our physical health, but also our emotional and mental health. Today in our Yoga and You series, we're doing a four part yin yoga series. Now yin yoga is kind of like a branch of yoga. It's one that is extremely special to me because I feel like especially in today's world where everything is so fast paced and everything is all over the place and we're being pulled in a hundred different directions Yin Yoga essentially allows us to slow it down and so this practice is very different in that a lot of yang practices you know you're jumping around in vinyasa and ashtanga you're moving from one side of the mat to another it can be quite fast and Yin Yoga is basically being very slow holding just a few poses for a longer period of time. It works on the physical body, what we call the fascia, which is the, um, it's almost like the surrounding covering around the muscles, we're stretching that out. But also, as you might know in the yoga philosophy, there are different chakras in the body that hold different kind of emotions. So as we work into some of the physical parts of our body and stretch out that part, we're also working towards releasing certain emotions, right? So in this first video, you're not going to use any props. So we'll basically start in uh, going into our posture and our breath, right? So gently bring one heel into your hips. Bring the other ankle in front. Allow the knees to go as wide as possible. Gently place your hands, your palms on the knees. And if you feel like even the palms facing the ceiling. Once you've done this, allow the eyes to close. For the next few minutes, as we do some calming, centering breaths, try to keep your eyes closed and just trust in your ability to hear the instructions rather than watching me and copying. So just take a few seconds of silence here. Bring yourself back to this present moment. Allow the knees to go wide, relax the hips. Bring your awareness to the spine and notice whether you might be leaning forward or you might be leaning backward. A lot of us have a tendency to do either one. Come to the center and lengthen through the spine. Imagine like the crown of your head wants to touch the ceiling, lengthen, lengthen as much as possible. And your shoulders automatically like might move towards your earlobes. I want you to roll it back and rest it down. The neck is elongated, the chin stays parallel to the earth. Without trying to change or alter the breath, just notice what the breath is like in this present moment. Is it short, is it shallow, or is it more deep and nourishing? I'm doing this practice for myself in the morning and most of you might do it too in the morning. You might find that after you've woken up from 6 to 8 hours of sleep, the breath is quite short and almost quite soft even. We're going to go into the body and use our breath as a tool to elongate the breath and also to calm the body down. So with that intention, gently place one palm on the belly and one palm on the chest. Allow the fingertips to spread as wide as possible as you slowly and gently push into your own body. Allow the touch of your hands on your own body to be loving, to be of kindness. Be gentle with your own body. With the palm on the chest, notice whether you can feel your heartbeat. Is it slow? Is it fast? And what is that saying about your own mental state today? With the hand on the belly, notice what the breath is like. Is the breath constricted or is it full? Together, you and me, we're going to take a few long, deep inhales and exhales together. So ready? Inhaling for three, two, one, and exhaling for three, two, one. Longer still, inhaling for four, three, two, 
वन एक्सेलिंग फॉर फोर थ्री टू वन वे गोइंग टेक इट इवन लॉन्गर इन हेलिंग फॉर फाइव अलाउ द बेली टू कम इन टू योर पाम फॉर थ्री टू वन एक्सेलिंग फॉर फाइव फोर स्लो एंड कंट्रोल्ड थ्री टू वन लॉन्गर स्टिल इन हेलिंग फॉर सिक्स फाइव Four, three. Allow your chest to also expand for two. One and exhaling for six, five, four, three, two, one. Just two more breaths. Inhaling for seven, six. Allow the belly to fill. The chest expands. The ribs expand all the way to your collarbones for three, two. One and exhaling for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last breath. Make it big. Inhaling for eight, seven, six. Pushing the belly out into your palm for five, four, three, two, one, and exhaling for eight, seven. Six, five, four. Pull the belly button into the spine for two, and for one. Good. Just release your palms to your knees, with your palms facing the sky, dropping the shoulders down, and just notice what the breath is like now. The breath might be a little more longer, and it might be easier for the mind to stay quiet. and the eyes to stay closed just take a second of silence we want to maintain this breath throughout our practice it's just a calming centering grounding breath we'll close our breath by gently bringing our palms together and slowly and gently rubbing one palm against the other and then picking up the pace Build the heat within your palms. Rub, rub, rub. Just a little bit faster, and then once you feel ready, gently place your palms on the eyes. Allow your palms to go down your cheeks, your jaw, your neck. Give your shoulders and your arms a nice little massage. Even your thighs and your legs, whichever part of you feels a little bit tired or sore, and then gently open your eyes. We're going to go into our first um, stretch. which is basically going to focus on the head and the neck right so first once you open your eyes gently place your left palm on the floor with your right hand hold the left ear and gently tilt your head towards your right shoulder and stay here remember that a lot of us have a tendency to lift the shoulder up to the ears i want you to drop it down and stay be gentle with your neck a lot of us have sensitive necks and we have a tendency to pull too much be very aware of your body today okay go only as much as what is permissible for you and hold it here for 5 4 4 3 2 1 you'll feel the stretch move all the way from your base of the ears to the shoulder for 3 if this is getting quite comfortable for you you can even move the left hand to the left shoulder and stretch it out give yourself even more of a stretch and it will get a little more intense staying here for 3 if you're someone who stores a lot of tension in the neck holding this left arm here is going to help you a lot more okay for 2 One little inch go closer. You'll feel it all the way up till your shoulders even. Last little breath here. And for one. If your left hand is up, gently release it. Slowly bring your head back to the center, and we're doing the same thing on the opposite side. So right palm stays firmly planted on the floor. With your left hand, hold on to your right ear, and gently pull your. head closer to the left shoulder remember the same instructions apply here as on the opposite side there's no need to lift up this left shoulder 
keep it relaxed down this hand stays down if possible look up to the ceiling and then pull a little closer we're holding this here for five our bodies have such a tendency to store tension even though I, even though i did these stretches this morning when i'm repeating it now there's still some more to be stretched hold it here for four looking up to the ceiling adjust your head if you need to four three remember yin yoga is all about holding simple poses for a longer period of time four two if your body is allowing for it bring your right hand to the right shoulder and stretch the shoulder and the head in two opposite directions ha ah, remembering to breathe through it okay these stretches can get quite intense keep breathing for two last little breath here and four and slowly and gently bring your head back to center release both of your hands i'm going to turn to this side of the mat so that you can see this next pose better allow your hands to interlace fingers are interlaced thumbs come up okay with your thumbs place both the thumbs right below your chin right i'm going to look at it in this direction so it's easier for you to follow thumbs underneath the chin and very gently slowly push the head back remember with the spine we're not hunching into the spine spine is straight look up to the ceiling your entire front portion of the neck will stretch it's the space of the thyroid as well these poses help in hormone regulation and notice what stiffness what pain might be coming up in this portion of the stretches as we go through the practice today you'll notice that different parts of us start acting up in different poses the emotion that we hold in the neck is that of inflexibility not trusting the process of life of stubbornness So if these poses of on the neck are quite difficult you can use this physical practice of yoga almost as a mirror for your mental and emotional health stretch it even more for another 3 for 2 remembering to breathe last little breath here Look up to the ceiling, and if possible, even look to the back of the room. For two, and for one, slowly releasing your hands, allow your neck to come back to center. Remember, when we move in and out of the pose, don't whip in and out of the poses. Okay, especially if you're someone who has, say, low BP, the blood rush can be quite uncomfortable. Okay, so take it slow while you're moving through the poses. For this next pose, we're going to interlace our fingers like this. Palms go apart, spine is straight, neck is long. Interlacing the fingers, it goes behind the head. Okay? From here, bring your elbows closer together and just bend at the neck. Remember once more, we're not bending into the back. Back remains absolutely straight. elbows together and stretch when you do this pose you'll also notice that a lot of us store tightness not just in our neck but also in our shoulders as you're doing the stretch you'll notice the tightness in the muscles that go all the way from the base of the neck to the outside of your shoulders Hold it here. Imagine like your chin is trying to touch your chest. For another six, four, five. Continuing to breathe through it. Staying here for another four. 
And if there's certain pain or discomfort that's coming up in the neck, notice where in your life and with experiences in which relationships, you notice stubbornness, you experience inflexibility, not allowing yourself to flow through life. Just notice for yourself without any judgment. What happens on the mat is very reflective of what happens on the mat and which is why I love this yin practice. It's very simple but if you allow it to be, it can be quite deep as well. Staying here for another three. Don't come out of the pose, just few more seconds. Four, two. Taking deep breaths. Last little breath here. Feeling that stretch across the back of the neck. It'll even extend up to your scalp, right? Just notice. Last little breath here. And for one. Now from here, don't come out of the pose. Stay where you are. Shoulder, I mean elbows are still closer together. And gently vertebrae by vertebrae, just curl the back. Allowing your forehead to come closer to your pelvic region and stay. You can shift the wo your weight forward so that the very bottom of the spine also feels that stretch. This is a beautiful stretch for the back. And it's very telling of the states our bodies are in. Holding it here for another six, almost like you're crawling, you're kind of curling into this small little ball. Four, five, stay. When we're in these poses for a longer period of time, the body will automatically want to snap out of it. I want you to stay in the pose, resist the urge to leave it. My teacher always says that yoga begins when you want to leave the pose. So talk to your mind and stay here for another four. Go even closer to the floor if that's accessible to you. Four, three. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Four, two. And four, one. From here, taking your own time, don't whip out of the pose, just let go of your hands, allow your palms to come down to the earth. And vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly allow your spine to come back up, almost like one vertebrae is stacking against the other. As slowly as you come back into seated, your neck might feel a little bit sore and a little bit sensitive, and that's okay. Thank you for sharing your practice with me, yogis. Today we stretched out the head and the neck in this first video of the four part series. In our next video, we're going to go into our shoulders and our arms and it's going to be quite a deep stretch. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.